Good afternoon, everybody, on this Wednesday, February 3rd. It is 1.30. I am so, so sorry about not starting the vlog earlier. I was actually, I actually just um, went to answer the phone and I came back in here and I was giving Wednesday some pets because she's laying here on the floor. So I was scratching her head and I was like, oh, Wednesday, I didn't open the vlog. So I'm opening the vlog now. It, it's been a little bit of a busier morning. Um, it hasn't been like quiet but it also hasn't been like crazy either so that makes sense i've been consistently busy all morning so that's good um i did get uh the guy in to fix the cord replace the cord on the blower did that started a new fire within 45 minutes it was uh the um blower kicked on great because i had actually cleaned the entire inside out i took everything out of the all the ash out of the fire or of the stove so there's that um but i don't know what else um he replaced it and i don't have to worry about having an electrical fire anymore so that's good um the guy pretty much told me he's like you could have just put electrical tape on it I was like, dude, I'm paying you to come here. It literally took 20 minutes. I'm like, I paid you $95 for your time to come here. Why are you telling me I'm an idiot? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. But nonetheless, it's fixed. That's what matters. Um, so, cord is fixed, blower is running, fire is cooking. Um, I'm looking at budget numbers, which I really don't need to be looking at budget numbers right now. I just have them open because somebody gave me a phone call and I was like, oh my goodness. Um, um, what else? Um, got a call from my big boss today that I'm going to be doing a bit, little bit of a different job here in the near future. Um, right now I'm just working on writing contracts and to be honest with you, a lot of days I'm pretty bored. I just don't have enough work to do. So I've asked for more work and he's like, okay, how about we put you in charge of this group that is working on the implementation of the system. We're, we're migrating from an older system to we're upgrading our system. So he was like, how about we put you in charge of this group that is managing the migration to the new system? It's like, well, okay and then I hung up the phone and I said to myself what did I just do to myself <laughs> I mean honestly my job right now is super mellow super easy not insane and um yeah so the new job is going to be busy and I'm going to have to answer a lot more questions than what I do now. Right now, I kind of just get left alone, but I'm bored and I'd rather be busy than bored. My days go by way faster when I'm busy than when I'm bored. So, um, anywho, I, hmm. I don't really have anything else to say right now. I'm pretty boring. We're almost out of wood. <laughs> I'm uh, thinking that we might actually have to order some more wood for this winter. Um, I do want to get three cords delivered that I want to season for next year. But I'm thinking we might need like another half cord for this winter. I think we've got about another week and a half to two weeks worth of wood downstairs. Um, outside. Not inside. Outside. Um... Maybe closer to a week. We burn. Well, let me show you. I can stand it. Get up and go for a walk. <clears throat> I'm sitting here with my heating pad on my back, which it's helping my foot, by the way. It is helping my foot, so that's good. Um, my slippers on and my blanket over my legs <laughs> and my, my, my heater. So I get cold very, very easily, if you didn't know. So I've got my heating pad back here. I've got the heater beside me, which doesn't get super hot. My slippers and my blanket. <laughs> Yeah, see. So, 
yeah the heater doesn't get super hot like in order for it to really it's an older heater it's actually really old we've had it probably pushing 20 years we've had that heater um so i expect it to just die like any day now i hope it doesn't but i wouldn't be surprised if it does um it puts off heat like i can sit here i can feel the heat coming off of it um but it's not gonna like cook you you know what i mean um if i shut the door even if i don't shut it the whole way it does keep the heat in the room and then it does warm up the room a little bit more so for illustrative purposes i will show you what i'm talking about here so i bring wood inside to get it acclimated to the temperature i think i told you guys that before so typically i very see it going there it's nice and super warm right now i go through not this little bottom portion but like from this little black ring up i go through about one of those per day now i did fill this up because i brought more wood in um so probably for the rest of the day i'll only have about half of that to use um but nonetheless this is about one day and then this over here is about two to three days depending on how much i bring in right now that's probably about three days worth right there so i've got about between this and this probably about four days worth so moving over here yes our room is still kind of a mess <laughs> still haven't cleaned it up um moving over here we're in both side you can see that's our wood pile and it has significantly diminished um it was originally stacked up now it's covered in plastic obviously it was three rows and it was stacked up probably another two feet and it was out maybe another foot and a half two feet as well so we're down to less than a third of what we actually purchased um which we purchased a cord so we're down to about uh, about a third of what was left um that is going to end up taking us about five weeks to burn that to b burn the cord now that is between the wood stove and the fireplace we've burned both places primarily the wood stove but we have had you know half a dozen or so fires upstairs as well um <clears throat> so i think we were burning more when the blow before the blower was working now that the blower's working i'm hoping we won't be burning as much in here but i still usually burn about a whole one of those holders worth of wood so um so yeah if you say that it takes us about five to six weeks to go through an entire quart of wood um figure three quarts will be about 18 weeks give or take a little bit depending on how cold or warm it is be about 18 weeks so what is that four eight twelve sixteen four eight twelve sixteen that's about four and a half months ish if i'm calculating correctly roughly four and a half months so like november december january february and into march that's about how cold it how, how long it is so i'm gonna guesstimate between the two wood burnings <clears throat> the stove and the fireplace we'll probably go through three cords of wood each winter i think that that's not unlikely um so, yeah, I just was watching a video over um, my lunch, watching, I was listening to a video over my lunch, um, where they were talking about how <coughs> wood stoves were getting, being outlawed in a lot of places, um, that, like you can't build new houses with wood burning fires in them anymore for like safety purposes and clean air and all sorts of stuff right so you do actually have to have an older house in order to get wood burning which i believe is most likely true now i don't know where this guy's homestead is um but i know in this area i don't think you can build a new house with a wood burning stove in it so <clears throat> i know my father-in-law was telling me that he knew somebody that had bought a house converted their fireplace into a gas insert and then decided they wanted to convert it back to wood and the township wouldn't let them so anyway wednesday why do you just want the loves why do you just want the loves 
Why, huh? Why do you just want the loves? I love you. What do you want? You want me to scratch your back? Okay, I'll scratch your back. Does that make you happy? I don't think that's making you very happy. <laughs> All right. Um, anyway, long term, what I'd like to do, I don't know if I told you guys this or not, I would like to move this wood stove over, I think I might have told you guys this already. Sorry if I have. But on the other side of this wall is our two car garage that's attached to the house. It's underneath the in-law suite. I would like to move this wood stove over there. Wednesday! She just keeps scratching at me. Um, I'd like to move this smaller wood stove over there so that, it, and John was like, why wouldn't you just put it in the in-law suite? And I said, well, if it's in the garage, heat rises. So it'll warm the garage and it'll keep the floor and the heat will rise into the in-law suite. So we'll end up heating both the garage and the in-law suite. I said, if you just put it in the in-law suite upstairs, it won't heat the downstairs. So, you know, at least by putting it in the basement, in the garage, you're getting both, you know? It's like, yeah, that makes sense. I said, on top of that, you know, even though we're putting our cars out in the barn, that's the plan is to have both John's truck and my car in the barn. That's the doors out there are getting replaced on Wednesday, next week, not today, obviously. So um, that'll be good. So um, I said, you know, it, it wouldn't hurt to, you know, at some point if that garage is heated, you can do work in here or we can put one of our cars in here so that it's always warm for when you have to drive to work. He's like, yeah, that's, that's not a bad idea. So anyway, we'll see, we'll see. Um, that's gonna be down the road though. Next big project, I don't know if I told you guys, next big project is gonna be the three other garage doors. Um, the doors themselves are not, not in necessarily in bad shape, but the openers are. The guy I think probably installed them himself and they're not in very good shape. And in fact, the one that's underneath me, the garage is on, oh, I forgot the lights on downstairs, darn it. I meant to turn that off, but um, big, while I was downstairs getting the wood in, the dogs were going crazy. So I, was, I came up to, to see what they were so crazy about. Anyway, um, this garage door opener in here, um, I don't even know how old this is. Like, no clue how old this is. Uh, yeah, it has like very, it's a Sears, very few markings. Um, he added in the circuit to have a remote. So that's a exterior remote that was added, um, which it looks like when they were put that outlet in there, wired that outlet up, it, um, they broke it. Looks like it cause it's, oh no, it was just taped in place. Oh, that's good. Anyway. Um, and the springs, if you guys can see the springs here, when the garage doors open, this is the same on this garage door and the two over on the other side, those springs like hang down. Um, and I don't think that's supposed to be that way. <laughs> In our other house with the newer garage door, the spring is like across the top of the garage door. Um, and that's how it works. So, anywho, next big project is going to be the three garage doors with new openers. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to work and I'll see you guys later today. <laughs> Bye. Well, you guys, I didn't do much tonight. I've been very tired all night. I will say this, Nick just unplugged my phone. It's fine. It's fine, it's 100 charged, it's fine. <laughs> just put it, okay, that's fine. <gasps> fine. You want um, me to put it here? Okay. It's John's birthday month. So. And birthday. He got a free burger from Red Robin. And a Sunday. So we went to Red Robin. And because tonight was the first Wednesday of the month. And the Red Robin's here in our area. I got a snoring dog beside me. Of course. Um, the first Wednesday of the month, you can get free kids meal as long as there's a parent who buys some, buys a burger or something. So, 
um, John got a free burger. Nick got his meal for free because Nick still eats the kids' meals. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That's what we ended up doing. We went to the, the old house, put some trash out, and... The she had a birthday. person who's buying the house was in the house and chose to turn off the gas fireplace, which I don't know why they thought that that was the Good best idea. idea, considering I'm paying for the gas until Friday. Um, I don't know why they decided that that was a good idea. So they also messed with all the curtains, um, took some curtains down, opened some other curtains. Um, yeah. All in all, um, they were acting like it was their house and it's not their house for another couple of days. So it kind of upset me. Anyway, um, we do have to go back tomorrow night and get the dehumidifier and get the, um, lamp from the living room and, and whatever else, you know, we need to do. Um, last couple of things we need to get. Um... I'm going to be sad to let my house go. So you don't, so you don't like the house, but you do not want to sell the house with the I, I love that people. house. That house was very good to us, Nicholas. Yes. You came home from the hospital there. There's, there's a lot of good in that house. But, and now those slash evil people is just yeah the people who are buying it are not very good people this, so just taking it away anyway just taking um, in all the nice stuff there i'm gonna be sad to see the house go and seriously just go to go to like plus i worked for an extra hour tonight on my i had a conference call it went from three to four it was supposed to end at four o'clock didn't end until five o'clock so I um, um, ended up working extra extra hour tonight. I don't even know if our old house is going to even want to look like. I don't know. They might change it all up. Um, to like a modern house. I talked to just... my big boss today. I think I might have told you this earlier though. Talk to my big boss. I'm going to be doing a little bit different of a job here soon. I did. T I remember telling you that though. But it would definitely be less. Um, boring. Um, so, we'll see how it goes. Nick's checking himself out in the viewfinder. One of his teachers gave him a new mask because he was having something going on with his nose today at school. Every time, if you, if the new people that don't know is... Every time if I wear a mask to anywhere, I get my stu get a stuffy nose. Yeah. And Miss Taylor thought that was a good thing to do to give me that new comfy face mask. Mm -hmm. Well, Nick, you know you have other masks. You don't have to just you have those blue ones I bought you. But I don't know where the light blue one is. No, not the gaiters. The ones that hook over your ears. I bought you two masks that are navy blue that hook over your ears. I bought them from you, for you from Target. I think Nick's tired. So am I. I've literally laid in because bed for if you don't, two and a half hours. If you don't know, if you don't know, I accidentally woke up at 4 o'clock last, yeah, last yeah, night. Yeah, Nick woke up at 4 but I've been laying in bed since 7.30. I'm just really tired and I didn't get anything done. And I should have and I didn't. I feel like so. maybe sleep time could like change. Right? I just, I haven't been sleeping well what, what recently happened? here. I just haven't been sleeping well. Even with the, your breathing thing? Yeah. Your well, what's happening is I'm getting up in the middle of the night 
well, like... to like go to the bathroom or because like like in the middle of the night last night John got up um John got up and went to the bathroom so then I was up so I went to the bathroom and then he late we both tossed and turned for like an hour and then he just got up he got up at like three o'clock in the morning um I was able to fall back to sleep thankfully but that's good he didn't sleep like at all so both of us are having a hard time right now with sleeping yeah. so anyway today I am thankful that the people at Red Robin sang happy birthday to John. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful for getting me a Sunday and so is Don as well. Yes, Nicholas got a Sunday because it was kids night and John got a Sunday for his birthday. So we got two free Sundays tonight. Was it good? You got a, you got a brain freeze. Yeah, it, added, it took him a couple of minutes. <sighs> Nick ate it too fast, you got a brain freeze. Dang. Canada that weighed for a minute, a couple of minutes, yeah. till it cooled down. Yeah. Well, heat, well, not really cold, just cooled it down. Yeah. Alright, go ahead and hit it, buddy. I'm tired. Me too. Hope today has been your, I hope today was better than yesterday. I hope tomorrow will be just a little better than today. For me, I hope. I just hope I just don't wake up and then, like, you know, or something. Yeah. You're going to say, I hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great day. And we'll see we'll you see tomorrow. tomorrow. Hopefully, we all sleep better tonight. Yeah. That would be very welcome. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I wish I could sleep as well as my dogs do. They sleep so well. And most of the day, too. Oh, somebody woke up. Oh, maybe not. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.